Okay, Whew. good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, uh, awesome. Should we wait a few minutes and see who's coming? All right. I'm just gonna quickly jump on my Instagram and let everybody know that we're getting started shortly. So if anybody wants to join us for a live class, they can do that. So I'm just gonna jump on Instagram right quick. So if you're here for the 10 o'clock class, thank you for joining me. Um, why don't you lay down while, while we're getting started? So I'm just gonna do a quick live class, live. Hey everybody, on my Instagram, I'm here on ohmstars.com. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the uh, chat here. And I'm doing a live class like right now. So if you guys wanna join me for a live class, uh, Breathing for Justice, so it's gonna be Breathing Together. It's going to be an accessible all levels class. I'm just putting uh, the uh, website in here. So you can go to OMSTARS, click on live classes and come and join me. So I've got my class set up in the back. Can you see that? And we're going to do a class together live. If you have time and you'd like to join me, it's an hour long class. It's starting in one minute. So uh, we'll wait for you. So if you want to join me, OMSTARS.com, click on live classes and let's get together and breathe together for justice. All right, I hope to see you there. All right, welcome everybody. Today's class is called Breathing for Justice. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we're gonna start in either seated or laying down. This is gonna be an all levels class. We're gonna focus really on the breath. When I was invited to do this class, I was, um, feeling really torn. I've taken up running very recently for any of you who follow me on Instagram. I've been doing a lot of running ever since um, uh, Ahmaud Aubrey got shot and killed in Georgia back in February. Um, and I really wanted to do something to connect to the to the larger community around everything that's going on in the world. So if we're all paying attention, we're seeing a massive shift and it's very, confusing and daunting and overwhelming and all the things. So I find the one thing that keeps me grounded is to breathe. And if I can dedicate my practice to those of us who are struggling and suffering and trying to make it through the world and just trying to survive, that's what I'm doing. I'm donating money to all the causes. I'm participating in all the panels. I'm doing all the things I can to make this a lasting change for me and my family. I would really like to be in a place where my kids do not have to deal with the things that I have to deal with walking through the world as a black person. So I am hoping um, that this is a, a start <sighs> on our way to creating some real justice and equality. So if anybody feels like it, is there a chat box here? If anybody feels like talking to me, if you're laying down, <laughs> sit up. Uh, can you let me know where you're from? And what is your favorite pose you would like to do today? What are you feeling you want to do in your body as we start to get ready to move? I'm an accessible yoga teacher and I like to teach to everybody and I'd like to offer you whatever it is you feel that you want to do on your mat today. So if anybody wants to type in the chat box at all, any uh, poses we like to do, I'm going to type in the chat box right away, Savasana, because uh, that's a pose I always like to do. Uh, I always like to have props when I'm practicing. So if you have blocks or straps or anything like that, that would be great. Uh, and uh, I'll wait a few more minutes and see if anybody has any favorite po uh, poses. Hey, Erin, no fork Virginia. Uh, any side bends feel great. Awesome. Do you also like twists? I'm a big fan of twists. Side bends and twists are great. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm all about twisting. Thanks for being here, Erin, uh, from Norfolk, Virginia. Anywhere, anybody else? Any favorite poses? Any special requests? I'm taking special requests today. Anything you want before we get started? We have a couple minutes. All right. Nobody. Is it just us two? <laughs> I know Monica's here, Home Stories Yoga, uh, and Erin and Kayling. All right, okay, cool. Let's start laying down, if you're there laying down already. Uh, I like to play something underneath my knees when I'm laying down. And let's just practice uh, breathing for right now. So if we wanna place our hands 
on our belly and just close our eyes and come to our breath. Just soften your face, breathe in and breathe out. Slowly and deeply. And if laying down is not your jam, you want to sit up, that's fine too. But let's start with just our breathing. I want you to notice when you're laying on your back, the sensation of your back inflating onto the floor. And as you exhale, the sensation of your body just softening. So placing all your hands on your belly and just noticing the sensation of the breath as the body expands with the inhale. And as the body contracts with the exhale. And if it feels good to do so, maybe even bring your hands a little closer to your rib cage, placing them on either side of the rib cage. Taking a deep breath in and watching the rib cage expand. And taking a deep breath out and watching the rib cage contract. And every time you pull that breath into the body, notice how the body begins to illuminate a little with the breath. And watch how the body softens a little when we let the breath out. And I just want you to notice what that feels like in the body. Notice the breath at the tip of the nose. Notice how it's cool. And then when you exhale, notice how it is warm as the body is taken from the breath exactly what it needs. keeping the breath smooth and slow. So throughout your practice today, I really want you to focus on keeping the breath smooth and slow and focused. I want you to notice if the breath ever gets away from you, if it becomes labored. And if it does, it's your body's communication to you to need, that you need to slow down and pause. Now, if you haven't already, maybe bend your knees and bring your heels closer to your bottom. Tuck your shoulder blades slightly underneath you. And then on the inhale, let's sweep the arms up and overhead, reaching the fingertips away. And then on the exhale, bring the hands down by your sides. So we're just watching the breath here. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, release down. Keep going. Inhale, lengthen up. We're going to add on. Exhale and lengthen down. Two more. Inhale and lengthen up. Exhale and lengthen down. Next time you inhale up the arms, stretch out here, a little lengthen here. And then on the exhale, bring your right knee into your chest, hug your knee up to your chest and follow the breath. Inhale, release the hand up to the sky and the leg down to the floor. Exhale, left knee to the chest, forehead up to the knee, pull it. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, right knee comes into the chest, forehead comes toward the knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, and keep alternating, follow the breath. I really want you to connect with the breath today. I really want you to be mindful of how you're breathing. If you have a pranayama practice that you'd like to do, I'm gonna invite you to go ahead and do it, but your natural breath is always welcome here. Let's do one more of these stretches each side. And when you've completed that round, Bring your arms down by your sides, tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, press into your feet by walking them a little bit closer to your buttocks. Inhale and lift the hips up to the sky. Exhale and lower. Inhale and lift. Exhale and lower. And keep moving with the breath. Inhale and lift. Exhale 
and lower. And now you can stay here. This is your first stop on this particular journey, just to lift the hips and lower the hips. Your next stop is to add the arms. So when you lift through the hips, you can add the arms overhead and then exhale and lower the arms down. Inhale and lift, exhale and lower. Inhale and lift, exhale and lower. Last four, four. Three, two. Last one, arms up overhead. Keep the hips lifted. Notice the breath. Stretch out through the arms, press down through the feet. Maybe even pull the heels energetically back toward the top of your mat as your knees move forward. Watch what fires up, watch what you feel. And then lower the hips down, lower the legs down. And then roll over to your right side and let's make our way up to a cross-legged position. You can sit in Sukhasana, Siddhasana if you like, cross-legged position. Sit up nice and tall. I always like to sit up on a blanket or a meditation cushion just to elevate my seat a little bit. And then sit up nice and tall. Draw the lower tips of the shoulder blades onto the heart. Close your eyes. And then bring your left hand to your right knee. Right fingertips behind you. Twist, taking your gaze over your right shoulder. And from here, take your right arm and reach over to a side bend towards the left side of your body. Now inhale, come up. Float the arms out into T. Take the right hand to the left knee. Take the left fingertips behind you for a twist. Gaze over your left shoulder. And then on the inhale, sweep. Left arm and over side bend. Keeping that right hand on the left knee, take your left hand to your right knee, cross your elbows in front, and now bring your hands either into eagle pose or stack the forearms. Sit up nice and tall, either lifting the tips of the elbows up to the sky or lifting the arms up. And now sweep the arms out nice and wide. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. Take a twist and then inhale, reach the right arm up and over side bend. And then the hand all the way down to the left knee. And then the elbows come together either into eagle or stack the forearms, lift the heart. Now sweep the arms out nice and wide. Right hand comes to the left knee. Left fingertips come behind, re re root down through your sit bones, look over the shoulder. And then on the inhale, sweep. Left arm up and over, side bend. And then release the hand to the knee, left hand, right knee. Cross the elbows in front, eagle or stacking the arms. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. Exhale, let's sweep the arms wide and lace the fingertips behind us. Open the shoulders to open the heart to possibility. Open the throat. And as you tuck the chin to the chest, walk the hands forward, round the spine. Root down through the seat. And now walk your fingertips back. And let's make our way onto our hands and knees. Now I've gone ahead and used a mat pad. I'm using a life form mat, so I have a mat pad. You can use your blankets. We're gonna do a little bit of kneeling. If you have a bolster, grab a bolster and kneel on the bolster, just so that little extra padding for the knees. And when we come into our tabletop position, I'm gonna invite you to take your hands out nice and wide in tabletop so that your pinky fingers are right at the edge of your mat. Okay, and take your knees a little bit behind your hips if it's possible. So go ahead and allow yourself the opportunity to get really big, to take space in these poses. So take a lot of space in these poses, knees slightly behind the hips. And let's just move right into cat cow. Softening the belly down, looking up, exhaling, rounding. Inhale, soften. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, soften, exhale, round, good. One more. We're gonna be on our knees for a few moments. And now I'm gonna rock 
the shoulders forward to the top of the mat. Let the hips get nice and heavy. And then I'm going to have you take your heels or your bottom back towards your heels, forehead down to the floor. Stretch out the low back. Inhale, bring them forward. Soften the chest, look up. Exhale, roll back. Bringing the bottom back toward the heel, stretching out. We're going to move back and forth. So I'm going to invite you to use this at your, as your first stop on your journey through the practice for vinyasa. So at any time, if you're feeling like the class is going too quickly, or you need a little break, or you want to move a little bit more slowly, I'm going to invite you to come back to this, okay? So this is your option, forward and back. Just that dynamic movement, allowing yourself to be in your body. Always make space in your poses. So I like the idea of taking space and making space, which is an idea I got from one of my colleagues, Amber Carnes. So you want to make sure that you take your legs out wider and make space for yourself. Now I'm going to add on here. If you want to add a little bit more intensity, a little bit more strength, then you can, when you come forward, lower down, inhale, curl through Cobra, exhale, press back the tabletop, and bring the bottom back towards the heels. So that's your option. You can come forward, Toward the hands, squeeze the elbows into the rib cage, lower down. Inhale, curl back. Exhale, bottom back towards heel. So this is your second step on the bus, adding just a little bit more intensity, a little bit more uh, dynamic poses. And ask yourself if this is what I need, or do I need to stay in your cat cow, or you're rocking back and forth without lowering down through Cobra. So give yourself the option to play. We're going to continue to add on with this. Now, instead of pressing back into a child's pose from Cobra, you can curl the toes under and press back to down dog. Coming forward to plank, lowering knees, chest, chin, lower down. Inhale, roll through Cobra, and then exhale, bottom back towards heels. So that's what you can add on here. Get a little bit more dynamic. Bring your chest forward, lower down. Inhale, roll through your Cobra. Pressing the tops of the feet down, pulling the pelvic floor up, coming back through table, and then eventually back to down dog. And then forward to plank, knees, chest, chin lowers down. Inhale, really feel that inhale as you curl the shoulders back. And then exhale, bottom back towards heels. So that's the whole flow here. So forward, look up, exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll through Cobra, and exhale, curl the toes under, lift the hips, come back to down dog. Forward to plank, knees, chest, chin, lower down. Inhale, roll through Cobra, exhale, bottom back towards heels, lengthen the arms forward, stretch. So there's lots of options to move in a way that feels good to you in this practice. You can make it strong by adding a lowering down, you can make it soft, by walking back and forth, you can make it your own, whatever feels good to you. There's power in everything that we are doing here. So feel your own power as you move through this. We'll do one more round of whatever it is you're feeling. And then when you're ready, you can meet me either in your tabletop position or you can meet me in your downward facing dog position. If you chose down dog, let's pedal our feet out here. Move our head from side to side, push down into our hands. If you chose tabletop, I'm gonna invite you to return to your cat cow, just feeling your body moving. So let's take a few breaths here. So we really wanna connect with breathing and moving. My new focus when I'm moving through my practices, when I'm doing anything physical, is to breathe for those of us who no longer have the ability to do so. So I'm taking a collective breath Injustice for the world, right? Two more, whatever it is you're choosing to do. And then when you are ready, I'm gonna invite you to walk your hands back towards your feet. If you're kneeling, you're gonna be hands in front of knees. You're gonna roll the heels back and down. And then you're gonna make your way to a forward fold, letting the crown of the head draw down toward the floor, widening the heels apart, and just allowing yourself the opportunity to keep moving. And now on the inhale, let's sweep the arms high to the sky, reach up. And then on the exhale, hands to heart center, and let's walk forward toward the top of your mat. Lift and spread your toes, find your center, come into the Tadasana. 
Throw your shoulder blades on your back, push down and wide through your feet, chin is parallel to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky. Right hand grabs a hold of left wrist, press it over to the right. Inhale back through center, and now press it over to the left. Inhale, reach up, sweep the arms behind the low back, lace the fingertips together, lift the chest, and then bend the knees slowly and fold forward, letting the arms either rest at the low back, squeezing the elbows together, or let the arms fall away and take a big stretch to the body. See if your shoulders are tight. See what's worth working here. Now bend into the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Come all the way up to standing. Right hand grabs a hold of left wrist. Take a side bend. Back through center. Second side. This time, inhale, reach up. Lace the fingertips behind the low back. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Lift the heart. Bend the knees. Let the arms fall away. Oof. The arms can heal, the hands can also rest at the low back. Okay, so if falling away is too tight, hands can rest here. Now bend the knees, sit into chair pose, reach forward. Hands come to the waist, sit back with the right foot, take a lunge pose, crescent lunge. Sweep the arms high to the sky. Now bring the right arm forward, left arm back, open chain twist. And then we're going to open into a warrior two pose. We're going to sweep the right arm back behind you, pivot and plant on the right foot, warrior two. From warrior two, we'll take our peaceful warrior, right hand down the back, the right thigh, left arm up to the sky. Coming back through warrior two, bend into the square of the knee, plant into warrior two. Bring your hands through heart center, sit into that warrior two, be powerful here. Now extend your arms back out into a T. And now lace the hands down behind the low back, lift the chin, and bow to the inside of the left knee. Let the arms fall away, or let the arms rest at the waist. Good. Exhale, let's release our hands down to the floor, and turn both sets of toes to the long edge of the mat. Widen the heels apart, walk the fingertips forward, press back through the heels. Release the crown of the head towards the Good. Soften the knees. Bring your hands to your waist or to your knees. And now turn your knees out to the right and the left, toes out to the right and left. Inhale into your goddess pose. From goddess, straighten out through the legs, reach up. And then exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Turn the toes in and step the feet together in the middle of your mat. Inhale, reach all the way up. Right hand grabs a hold of left wrist, press it over to the right. Inhale, back through center. Second side. Inhale, reach up, sweep the arms behind you, lace the fingertips together, lift the heart, bend the knees and fold forward, let the arms fall away. Good. Keeping the knees soft, release the hands to the floor, plant the hands, and if it's available to, hop your feet wide or step your feet wide. Good. Left hand onto the floor, right arm up to the side, take a twist, and to the second side. Left arm up, right arm down, take a twist. Release, now pivot around to the top of your mat, coming into a lunge pose, lower your right knee down to the floor. Inhale, arms high to the sky, reach up. Exhale, bring both hands to the inside of the left leg and send the left leg straight back behind you as you widen the left arm out onto the mat, palms come down. Inhale, and on the exhale, right arm comes forward, straight. Lengthen. Plant your right hand on the floor. Plant your left toes on the floor. Kickstand out your right toes. Pivot and plant the left foot. Side plank variation. From side plank variation, take a breath. Maybe lift the leg. And if you feel so inclined, maybe take a bind by bringing the left heel to the left leg and curling open. Option is yours. One here. Two here. Option three here. Pick your option. Beautiful. Exhale. Release the bind. Come back to tabletop position. Shift your shoulders forward and lower down slowly. Inhale. Roll through cobra. Exhale. Press back to downward facing dog. Take your feet out nice and wide and walk your hands back towards your feet. Soften your knees. Inhale. Sweep the arms high to the sky. Reach up. 
Exhale, hands to heart center and walk forward to the top of your mat. Make your way back to Tadasana. Palms facing forward, shoulder blades on the back. Notice how you feel. Notice your breath. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Right hand grabs a hold of left wrist and we press it over to the right. Back through center. Let's press it over to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms behind you. Lace the fingertips together. Let the chest lift and now bend the knees generously and either let the thumbs rest at the sacrum, squeezing the elbows together, or let the arms fall forward in a way. Now sitting back in the chair pose, take your time, sweep the arms forward, reach forward. And exhale, bring the hands to the waist, step back with the left foot this time. Bend into the square of the right knee, sweep the arms high to the sky, hold, breathe, enjoy. Good. Now we're taking an open end twist or an open chain twist. So left arm forward, right arm back. And then circle around, pivot and plant, warrior two. Peaceful warrior, reach the right arm up and over the ear and look over. Exhale back to warrior two, push into your feet, lengthen through your arms. Hands on the waist, pivot both sets of toes to the long edge of the mat and fold forward. Wind your heels apart, let the body fold forward. Breathe. Good, half lift, look up. Exhale, fold again. Now turn your toes out to the right and the left, bend your knees, hands to your knees, inhale, come up into your goddess pose, fold goddess. Sit a little deeper in goddess. And if you want to add on in goddess, you can lift up onto the toes, sink a little bit deeper, and even lean forward, crossing the forearms or placing the fingertips on the floor. Option to keep the heels down and stay in goddess here is always a good option. Inhale, lower the heels down, straighten the legs out. Exhale, bring your hands to your waist, turn the toes forward, and step the feet together. So I'm going to turn so we have, you can see the front of me. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, reach your arms straight back behind you this time. Inhale, sweep into chair pose. Exhale, and fold, hands to the floor. And now you can either step or hop your feet wide. Good, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. So that's dynamic movement number one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Dynamic movement number two. Bend into the right knee, lift the left toes. Move side to side and scott us in. My favorite. Hip opener, hamstring stretch. You can even get creative. Take your hands off the floor. Don't go as deep, right? You can have your side lunges be a little less. Or you can hang out in either side. Just kind of notice. What's going on if you can maintain balance, if you can maintain breath. So this is option number two, dynamic movement number two, or dynamic movement number one, lifting and lowering. It doesn't matter. Find what works for you. Breathe. When you're ready, make your way back to your wide-legged forward fold. Look over at your right big toe and let's pivot around into a lunge pose. Beautiful. Lower the right knee down, left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring both hands to the inside of the right leg and slide the right leg back out behind you. Left fingertips out in front of you if you like. Plant the left hand, plant the right toes. Pivot and plant the right toes as you kick stand out of the left toes. Side plank variation. And now exhale, both hands down to the mat. Lower the knees. Float forward, lower down slowly. Inhale, roll through cobra. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Looking forward toward the top of your mat or towards your hands, walk forward. Inhale, reach your arms high to the sky. Right hand grabs a hold of the left wrist, press it over to the left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, second side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms down behind the back, lift the heart and fold forward. Arms can either rest at the low back or fall away. Inhale, move into chair pose. Exhale, hands to the waist, giant step back with the right foot, lunge. 
Inhale, sweep up. Open twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Pivot around. Warrior two. Be strong in your warrior. Take a pro bit. Find your breath. Catch up. Breathe. Now taking that right hand down the back of the right thigh, left arm up to the sky, and we're going to add on here. Now take your left forearm to your thigh, right arm up and over your ear. Option to stay here, an extended side angle, or option to take right hand to the waist, straighten out through the left leg, and bring your fingertips either to the floor or to your shin, or let them hover. Option to stay here, okay? Triangle. Find your option, find your practice, find your breath. Beautiful, take a breath. Adding on, bend into the left knee, bring the right fingertips to the floor, spin up onto the right toes, take the right knee down to the floor, inhale, left arm up to the sky. Option to stay here, first option. Second option, palm that right hand to the mat, Take that left hand to your waist, lift the right leg off the floor, and step back into your version of side plank. That's your option. Keep the twist or step back into your side plank. It's your job, your option. Knee can be dapped, leg can be in front. Pick your option. Exhale, come back to tabletop position or downward facing dog if you feel it. Inhale forward to plank pose, exhale knees, chest, chin lower. Inhale, curl through cobra, exhale, press back into downward facing dog. And then look forward towards your hands and see if you can come up onto your fingertips and walk your feet forward. Soften up the knees, fold forward, breathe. Inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky. Right hand grabs a hold of left wrist. Crescent over, back through center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart, look up. Exhale, bend generously at the knees and pull forward. Inhale, sit into chair, sweep the arms forward. Exhale, hands to the waist. Take a giant step back with the left leg. Come up onto the toes, crescent lunge, hold. Now taking our left arm forward, right arm back, take an open chain twist. And then windmill the hands around, pivot and plan into warrior two. Taking your left hand down the back of your left thigh, right arm up to the sky, Peaceful warrior, and here's your next option, right? Inhale, come back through warrior two, option one. Extended side angle, option two, you can stay here. Option three, you can move into your triangle pose if you like. So pick your option, you're in warrior two, extended side angle or triangle, one, two, or three, A, B, or C. Now pushing out through that back heel, pushing down through the mound of that front toe, really wrapping your right butt cheek underneath you, opening up the chest, and now bend into that right knee, bring your left hand to the floor. You can come up onto a block or onto your fingertips here. Come up onto your left toes, tap your left knee down, inhale your right arm up to the side. So this is your first stop on the bus. You can stay here. If you like, and you're looking for more sensation, you can palm your left hand to the floor, push down through your left hand, lift your right knee, and come into your version of a side plank. So for here, I stepped my right foot halfway up the mat, I came onto the outer edge of my left foot. I use my other hand, you can stack if you want, right, that's an option. You can lower your inside knee down if you want. So pick the options that make the most sense for you. And let's hold this for three breaths. Good. Now let's release both hands down to the floor. Let's pivot back into tabletop or down dog. If you're in tabletop, cat cow. If you're in down dog, forward to plank, 
lower knees, chest, chin, lower down. Inhale, roll through Cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. And then look forward at your hands, walk or step, hop or jump to the front of your mat. Soften your knees. Inhale, sweep your arms high to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. And meet me in Tadasana, top of your mat. Really root down into the top of your mat, take a breath, palms are forward, chest is full. Take a moment. So we're gonna play a little bit here. Inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky. Exhale, fold at the waist, reach the arms back behind you. Here's where we're gonna play. Inhale, sit into chair pose. Exhale, root down into the right foot, bend into your knees, bring your hands to your waist, Float the left knee up in front of you if you can. So find that focal point, set your gaze, and float your knee up. Option to stay here. Option to lean forward into toddling tree with dragging arms behind you. Ooh, option to stay here, okay. Option to take fingertips to the floor, standing split, stay here, or option to open into half moon pose. Pick your option. Beautiful, take a deep breath in now and step that left leg back all the way behind you and let's transfer into a goddess pose. Woo. Bending into the knees, bring your arms out wide to the side. Take a moment to breathe. Catch me if you can. Be where you are. Remember your breath, we're here to breathe together. That's all that counts. Hands to the waist. And now we're gonna to step to the back of our mat and step our feet together. Good. Take a moment to breathe. Root down through your feet, catch up. <sighs> we'll let everybody find us. When you're ready, inhale. Sweep your arms high to the sky. Exhale, pull, reach your arms straight back behind you. Inhale, sit into chair pose. Bring your hands to your waist and root down through the left foot, finding your gaze to set your dressy, float the right knee up. Option to stay here. Two option, toggling tree. Extend that right leg out behind you. Bring your hands to the side of you, like javelin arms, or if you have blocks, place your hands on the block for standing split. Option to stay here or option to move into half moon pose. So stacking hip over hip, turning your body to the right, lifting your right fingertips to the sky with that back leg up. Remember, you have the option to stay with your knee into your chest, into toppling tree, which is warrior three, or to move into half moon pose. Take a deep breath in. And then step back with the right foot right into goddess. Feel your inner goddess. Inhale, straighten out through the legs. Reach the fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your waist. Turn your toes to the long end of your mat, leading with your collarbones. Fold forward. Option to stay here for a static stretch. Option to move into a dynamic stretch. Left hand under the nose on your mat, right arm up to the sky, alternating. Or moving into your skadasana. We've been here before. Moving side to side. Just figure it out. What does my body need today? Where am I at? Stay static. Add a twist. Or move side to side. It doesn't matter. The option is always yours. I'm going to take all three. And come back to my static stretch. And then from there, I'm gonna move into my twist. So just take a couple more breaths here, feeling the breath move through the body, doing what feels right, widening your heels apart, taking a breath. Meet me back into wide-legged forward fold when you're ready in your static pose. Beautiful, go ahead and look over to your right big toe. We're gonna turn our right toes out to 
the short edge of her mat, plant her hands and step back either into tabletop or downward facing dog. Pick your pose. In down dog, I want you to hold. Spread your fingertips out nice and wide. Root down through your heels. In tabletop, I'm going to invite you to do a spinal balance. Right leg back, left arm forward, and then alternate. Once you've got that with one breath, alternating that. If you're in down dog, let's move through vinyasa. Forward to plank, lower down. Roll through cobra, back to down dog. Keep going if you're choosing to do that. If you're choosing to remain in your spinal balance, just keep alternating when the breath moves you, okay? So these are your options for the next series of poses. Beautiful. Finish whatever it is you're doing and meet me in tabletop or downward facing dog. We're gonna take one more moment to our sequence. Now, if you're in down dog and you wanna try to hop, I want you to take your feet out as wide as your mat, bend your knees, lift your sit bones, and I invite you to hop your feet wide of your hands and come into a squat. <laughs> If you wanna walk forward and come into chair pose, if a squat isn't, your knees aren't feeling it today, then come into a chair pose instead of Malasana Yoga Squat. Plant your hands, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms high to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. We're gonna go through our sequence one more time before we take it to the floor. Okay, come to the top of your mat. Root down through your feet, turn your palms forward, breathe. Inhale, exhale, feel that breath move through your body. Maybe place your hands on your belly and on your heart and just connect with that breath as we move through this asana one last time. Release both hands down by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms high to the sky. Exhale, bend at the knees and reach the arms back behind you. Inhale, sit into chair pose. Exhale, hands come to the waist. Step your right foot back to a lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. And if you want, you can close the twist by hooking the elbow behind the knee. The option is yours. You can keep the twist open by reaching the right arm forward, left arm back. Good, inhale, sweep back up into a crescent lunge. Pivot and plant the back foot, warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Now here are your options. Extend the side angle, triangle, half moon. Pick your option. If you're close to the wall and you want to move into a handstand practice, if you're that person, go ahead. If you want to take the bind with the right leg, go ahead. But your options are, Warrior two, extended side angle, triangle, half moon. Ooh, dare I try it? Handstand? Oh, maybe, but find your pose. Breathe. When you are ready, inhale, slowly make your way back to warrior two. Bring your hands to your waist, turn your toes to the long edge of your mat, and now turn your toes up to the right and left, goddess pose. From goddess pose, fold forward. Turn the toes forward, widen the heels apart, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Turn your right toes up to the back of your mat. Walk your hands to the inside of the right foot. Step back into downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank pose. Knees, chest, shoved, lower down. Inhale, roll through cobra. Exhale, back to tabletop position or to, uh, or to down dog. And then when you're ready, if you wanna feel like hopping, bend your knees, lift your sit bones, and try hopping your feet wide of your hands, a little hop. Come into a squat. If a squat doesn't feel right in your body, then come into chair pose instead. So if you're not squatting, chair. Good. 
Inhale, reach out all the way up from your squat or your chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last side, take a breath. We're gonna add one more. So, handstand is optional, right? Like anything, optional. Uh, or any other pose you wanna do instead is optional. So remember, we come to warrior two, stand inside angle, triangle, half moon, chop last and handstand. Six options. <laughs> Figure out where you are today. Inhale, reach up. Right hand grabs and hold the left wrist. Press it over. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, second side. Inhale, reach up. Sweep the arms behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the heart. Bend at the knees and fold forward. Thumbs can rest at the sacrum or arms can fall away. Inhale, sit back in the chair. Reach the arms forward. Exhale, bring the hands to the waist. Left leg steps back to a lunge pose. Pause here. Inhale, reach up. We could do an open-ended twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Or if you're feeling it, you can close the twist by taking the right, uh, left elbow to the right knee. Figure it out for yourself. It doesn't matter. Whatever you choose is completely okay. Push it into the feet. Inhale, come up. Woo. So whenever I lift my balance, I just widen my stance, pivot and plant the left foot down, warrior two. So here's where the options come into play. So we can take our peaceful warrior together. And then if you like, you can hang out here for as many breaths as you find interesting in extended side diagonal. You can move your way into triangle. You can move your way into your half moon pose. So I'm gonna invite you to pick what's working for you. And if you're feeling so inclined, you can plant your hands and hop up in the handstand if that's, if that's your jam. Okay, so just pick what works for you. Doesn't matter. It's all good. Beautiful. From here, let's bend into our knee. Let's step back into goddess pose. From goddess pose, let's bring our hands to our waist. Straighten out through our legs. Turn our toes to the long edge of the mat. Soften the knees and fold forward. Wind the heels apart. Lengthen out through your back. Looking over at your right or your left toe, it doesn't matter. Turn your body to the short edge of your mat and step back into either tabletop or downward facing dog. Taking your last vinyasa here. So the option to move through vinyasa or to stay in spinal balance and play, okay? So there's spinal balance, there's hanging out and down dog, or there's moving through vinyasa. So really, I want you to pick what honestly makes the most sense in your body. And when you're ready, you can meet me back in tabletop position, down dog, or my personal favorite, a really expensive child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat, big toes together, stacking the forearms one on top of the other, releasing the forehead to the stacked arm. So just really find your rest. If you don't find child's pose restful, then go ahead and make your way to seated instead with the soles of your feet together. So if child's pose is not your jam, come to seated with your soles of your feet together and fold forward this way. Don't be afraid to take what you need. Good. When you're ready, inhale, make your way up to seated. Exhale, make your way to Bhadakanasana, soles of your feet together on the first third of your mat. So come pretty close to the top of your mat. And as you're rooting down through your sit bones, lengthen forward over the feet. Breathe. You have the option to stay here if you like, but we can also move into a, a version of pigeon. So I'm going to roll over onto my right knee and slide my left leg behind me, coming into an S sit or a Z sit and fold forward here. So that's one option for a hip opening option. 
okay? An alternative to pigeon. You can come onto your back, crossing your right ankle over your left knee for a reclining pigeon, or you can extend your left leg back behind you, wind your right knee to the right edge of your mat and make your way into a pigeon this way. So pigeon here, or pigeon here, okay? Or your S sit. So all those are your three options. Choose the option that makes the most sense for you. It doesn't matter what it is, it's your option. Good. Now let's switch sides, whatever you chose. So I'm going to roll over onto my right hip, slide my left leg around. You can come back to Baddha Konasana here if you like. You could also slide into your S sit on the second side. So your legs are like an S or a Z, and you can fold forward here. Or you can make your way onto your back with your left ankle crossed over your right knee into your chest. Okay. Or you can move into your version of pigeon, whatever it looks like here. So find your pose, customize your practice. Beautiful. Take a nice deep breath in. Press down into your hands. Make your way back to your seated pose. For those of you who are already laying on your back, we're going to come right down to our backs. And then we're going to make our way onto our back. Draw both knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. Massage your low back. Maybe give yourself a hug. Do what you need to do, and from here, maybe move in to a happy baby pose. Good. From happy baby, plant the left foot on the floor, take the right toes to the sky, hold the back of the right thigh, push out through the heel and pull the, the leg into the body as you push out through the heel. Good, release second side. Now I'm gonna give you an option to hang out here and alternate your stretch here. So you have the option to alternate bringing that knee or into the chest or that leg closer to the body. I'm gonna let you play here. If you'd like to join me in a little bit more of an ab tightening or core strengthening practice, you can roll up into your boat pose here. Option to hold your knees here. So this is an option. Option to place your heels on blocks in boat pose. Okay, that's an option. Option to be here in boat pose. So we're gonna hold this for 10 breaths.
And when you've completed your 10th breath, you can roll back onto your back. One last ab tightening exercise if anybody wants to try it with us. Right knee into the chest, left leg parallel to the floor and alternating bringing knees in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, both knees into the chest, everybody. Release your head to the floor. Float your arms out into T and let your knees fall to the left side, taking that stretch. And letting your knees on the next breath fall to the right side, using that breath. We have enough time to take good, a pretty decent savasana. So when you're ready, you can release back through center. Give yourself one more big hug and then lengthen your legs out straight. Okay, so you can find your way into a more traditional savasana, right heel to the right corner of the mat, left heel to the left corner of the mat. Or if that doesn't feel good on your back, Grab a blanket or bolster and slide it underneath your knees. Let your arms come out to the side. You can also lay on your side with a block or a bolster between your knees, resting your head on your right or left arm, depending on what side you've chosen to lay on. I'm gonna to come to my meditation practice. So you can also join me here. I'm gonna set up on my bolster, my pranayama bolster, and take a few minutes to connect back to my breath and back to my meditation. Taking a nice deep breath in. Taking a nice deep breath in. So wherever you are, soften into the current pose that you're that you've taken. If you're coming to meditation with me, you can rest your hands on your knees or your hands in your lap. Close your eyes or bring your gaze to the floor softly. And breathe. Nice and smooth and slow. Take a moment with each breath to appreciate it moving into your body, to appreciate it moving out from your body in a way that feels connected to the rest of the world. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling everything out through the mouth. 
Let's do that again. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Just deep breaths out. Stretch your arms up overhead. Stretch your legs away or if you're seated, maybe take a twist, move your head from side to side. And then gently when you're ready, you can make your way up to seated pose. Once you're there and seated, you can fold your hands in front of your heart. Take a moment to notice your breath again. Notice how it changed from when we first stepped on the mat an hour ago. Taking a moment to give purpose to your breath. The purpose that we may all find justice, that we may all be peaceful, and that all of us may have our humanity recognized in this world. A place where we don't always have to constantly fight to be recognized for our humanity. praying for a world and building a world that is just for all of us. May you be happy. May we all be peaceful. May we just be. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining me today. It was my pleasure to share this practice with you. Uh, if you have any questions before we wrap, uh, the chat box is open if you have any questions for me. Erin, uh, I hope you got a lot of side bends. I tried to have quite a few in the practice today. Uh, also, um, thank you to everybody who could be here today. I have lots of uh, classes on OMSTARS that you can check out. And if you wanna connect with me at any time, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter at Diane Bondi Yoga Official. All right, thank you all so much. Thank you, I'm glad you like the flow, Callie. Uh, and of course, let me know if there's any questions. Um, it's 11 o'clock right on the dot right now, but uh, I wanna respect everybody's time. But if you have any questions, I can be here for the next couple of moments. Uh, if not, it's been wonderful and I hope to see you again on the mat. Keep practicing, keep focusing on your breath, keep coming together, keep practicing. Okay, thanks everyone. <laughs>